little more motherfucking fiends, nigga. Trap shit. Man, they sleep. Man, they sleep. Yeah, it's time to wake them up. Man, they sleep. Man, they sleep. Yeah, it's time to wake them up. Why they sleep? Why they sleep? Man, it's time to wake them up. Shit, we sit around with my nigga Kooji Dooji, man. Tell them what's going on, nigga. What you been up to? Man, I've been, uh, you know, been doing a lot of stuff in the community. Uh, dropping music, um, clothes, shoes, you know, man, just, uh, just trying to get my entrepreneurship on, man, out here. Man, we've been seeing you everywhere, bro. You've been all on the news, you've been all on the radio, yeah. you've been everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Tell them what's up, man. Tell them, how is that? Like, you finally getting it, it's like you getting your, your momentum rolling. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, really, I'm just trying to, um, reach out to the people more, because I know, um, I be doing music and um, shows and stuff like that. Sometimes uh, I don't have time for all my fans, so I, I uh, so uh, they broadcast me uh, uh, hosting different events that I do with the kids and stop the violence events uh, with the kids. So so really, I'm just trying to and, and, and uh, get the city involved and, and, and get them, um, you know, uh, with the people what they've been wanting to see, you know, uh, what I do. Right, right, right. So you've been doing uh you've been doing a lot of features and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. done seen you with two chains. Yeah. I done seen you with Project Pack. Yeah. I done seen you on uh live mixtapes. Yeah. I done seen you all over YouTube, yeah. oh, Facebook, yeah. oh, Instagram, yeah. Yeah. everything. Yeah. You feel me? So what keep you going, bro? How you doing this shit, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? You done figure figure the recipe out, you feel me? I mean, what keep me motivated is like uh like my mom, my uh my brother's family. And um, it just, it just, it just, it feel like something in me that I gotta keep going in this music that I can't stop. So anytime I'm just in the studio or something, I'm just thinking of uh, new ways or different ways just to try to try to try to make it uh, to the top. You know, and I got new features from um, DJ Paul. Uh, I've been doing um, features with Celise Rose, new work with Celise Rose. If y'all don't know. Her. Yeah, uh, just really uh, my family and um, just just the, the fans, like like the continuing fans that's been uh, been with me over uh, 15 years. You know, I've been uh, I've been rapping since like the early 2000s, 05, 06, or something like that. So it's just my fans keep me in it, you know, and, and keep me motivated to make new music. Yeah, man, let's get into that, man. So you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas ain't even got fans yet. You feel me? Past yeah. their neighborhood. Yeah. So how do it feel? What was your first experience like when you was out somewhere and then somebody bust up on you and was like, "Hey, ain't you cool to do job?" You know what I'm saying? Like, some what? Give them a story or something that. Oh. Uh, when you were somewhere and it just throws you out there, damn, yeah. they know who I am. Like, damn, yeah. they. Man, uh, I was at Northgate Mall and it was um, I was looking at some jewelry or something like that and um, it was a little girl came to me and. I didn't even know who she was. I'm saying she was with her mama. She ran from her mama to go come over there and gave me a hug. Mm -hmm. she, she didn't say my name, but I knew she knew me because I know that little girl not just gonna come up to anybody and just, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of strange. But for her to do that, I, it, it like it touched me. Like my whole, <laughs> it really touched me. Like for, for real, for real. People do be looking at these media uh, outlets and TV and the radio and. And and, and and that 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 alone right there keep me going as well as far as the people on the social posts telling me to keep going and, and it's awesome job and stuff all of that play a role in me to keep doing music because without them people I I I'll be like at a, at a stuck mode so without the people and my family getting involved with me with this music I I'll be at a, at a standstill for real if you want for for the people who really get involved with my music and stuff and things. So what was that? What, what was so? Let's let's get into it, man. So your fans can really get a chance to, to know you, bro. Yeah. Like so, what was what was cool? You do as at cool? You do as a young nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? How was cool? You do you coming up, man? Like tell them tell them how you was as a young nigga, man. Like what what your ambition was? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like you know you you know yeah. like me like a little more fan. I played ball. You yeah. feel me? Like I wanted to be a ball player. Right. Then that shit hit one day, nigga. You ain't going to the NBA. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to the NFL, it ain't finna happen. Now yeah. I gotta do something else. Mm -hmm. I had to figure it out. So I got into the video shit, you feel me? So, how was your, how was your upcoming? Uh, what was you on that first, I, like? I grew up, you know, uh, playing basketball, uh, track, 
then in the, in the neighborhood, then I then I started doing it for the school, elementary, middle school, Howard Middle, Own Park Middle, Achena. So I uh I always and my mom ran track, so I, I like in me I always had that instinct of an athlete instinct champion. You know what I'm saying? My mama was all city, all state, uh Howard. So I had to do the same thing. So middle school broke all the distant records. I did the 400, 800, 1600. But like you said, uh. I heard you say that about you know so what you gonna do after like if, when I didn't make it to uh, the run in college or play basketball in college I had to think of like you said think of another way to do it. should I uh, stay in school uh, should I keep uh, trying to do music that I was I was trying to do when I was little because I, I always tried to do music you know I was on the, on the little karaoke machine in the clouds trying to make raps up ball them up and I was just rapping the clouds everybody else been. In the kitchen, the living room, I just been in the closet, shut myself in the closet with a karaoke machine. So, uh, yeah, really, we, um, yeah, Trey like that. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So, are you uh, speaking mm -hmm. on your moms, man? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, evidently, she means something to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, just speak on your moms a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, let them know the situation. You feel me? Um, How you want to let them know? You know what I'm saying? Like my mom is like the um, biggest, biggest, biggest inspiration in, in everything that I do. Don't get me wrong. Like uh, I know I do stuff with uh, a lot of different celebrities. Like my mom has got like a place in my heart that like nobody got. Like it's like it's like it's like a, it's like, a like true mother and son like bond. I can feel it in my like when she's down and now I'm down. I, I it's like a feeling I get so. Every time I can just think about her and what she told me when I was little or when I was growing up or when I was like at my age now, everything, it just play a part in me and building my brain. It's like to keep going, do right, don't do this, don't do wrong. So right now, I'm at a stage, it's like, like people my age are just doing like crazy stuff. So I, I before I even think about doing stuff like that, I got to think about it. Like what my mom told me to do. Then I, it, it flipped in my mind, I got to do something else. So really, it just it just she just just give me inspiration in every way. So how you take the situation that you know what I'm saying with your moms and shit? I mean, I had it real hard, you know, when I put my mom in the um, bed with my mom. So I had it real hard. I had my days, but um, and I still got my days. But I just used that as like a stepping a stepping tool. To um, do greater things, cause that's what I know that what she wanted me to do, do uh, big things and stuff. And um, I can just see her now. Oh, you know, you, uh, you throwing this party, or you in the studio, do this, do that. So it just everything is like a, a motivational thing, you know, uh, about that right there. So yeah, man. So for the people that don't know, man, uh, tell them a little bit about to raise awareness about how your mom passed, you feel me? Um, diabetes is, is, is a big thing, especially uh, in the United States and as um, far as African American people, diabetes, as far as like uh, your eating habits, uh, sweets and different different type foods. So it's best to like um, eat healthy, uh, vegetables, fruits, drink a lot of water and for us like um, Stay away from bad food like starches and um, a, a lot of candy and sweets and drinks and stuff like that. So, like I, I've been doing research and stuff like that when my mom passed about diabetes and stuff. And um, and and I'm trying to myself. No, I ain't trying to be a hypocrite or anything. I, like I'm trying myself to try to eat right and, and not much of the bad foods and stuff like that. You know, if I can live longer. So. Um, it's like, like I'm just saying now, like, you know, just eat right. Eat right and eat healthy and drink uh, plenty of water because our body's made up of water. So if you can do all that, I, I think you can um, live a uh, longer life. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. So she is changing gears a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What you got coming up in the future, bro? You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, what's, 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 on the, what's on the radar? What can we be looking out for? I just um, dropped uh, the day sleep. Uh, video the remix uh featuring Celise and um I did that wet remix uh with DJ Paul which is uh on the album 
uh, I didn't have them featured on the album, so I was trying to make it, uh, trying to think of a way what would be a great put to put in the video instead of uh, making it the same as a single. See me, the type of artist, I like doing things differently. Right. Uh, yeah, what I got coming up, um, right now, um, I'm trying to knock out uh, two more videos. I did two videos already uh, to my album, Hood Famous. So my next album is going to be uh, Hood Famous 2. And um, um, I'm messing with a lot of uh, platinum producers. Uh, I ain't gonna say their name to spoil the um, to spoil the album. So I'm uh, rocking with a lot of platinum producers right now, and um, we're trying to get on board on that uh, Hood Famous too. After I shoot um, two more videos off the Hood Famous, after I shoot two videos, I'm done with the album, and then I'm um, dropping another album for my fans, and probably do a. a Another mixtape on live mixtapes. That's that's that'll be uh. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and see it. Yeah, it'll be dropped in January, but I don't know when the Hood Famous Two dropping. But I know I'm gonna drop another mix uh, with some more major artists on live mixtapes in January, the first uh, first week of January. So January, I mean, uh, so 2020 finna be big for Kooji Dooji. Like every every year, I try to do something big. You know, for I won't just be like, damn, I gotta do this. I, I, that way I, I can't worry about what everybody's doing so if I can just pop it off with doing like you said big things I can I can I can keep 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 it on that foot and keep keep going this nigga Master P came out with another independent movie you feel me yeah this shit got down to me was some of the biggest shit in goddamn history mm -hmm. you know what I mean this nigga had his own shoes in the movie mm -hmm. his own looker in the movie his mm -hmm. own clothes in the movie mm -hmm. he had all black independent Com comedians, actors in the movie mm -hmm. for us, by us. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. straight nigga shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. but I get on the internet, I'm seeing niggas hating on them and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so I just want to ask your opinion on Master P. You feel me? Like, like, what, like niggas like that, man. Like, niggas like, 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 niggas like Master P, J Prince. You feel mm -hmm. me? Jay Z, mm -hmm. Dame Dash. Yeah. You know, Irv Gotti, you feel what I'm saying? Like, black, niggas. Black entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. speak on that shit, man, how important it is, bro. Man, like, I, uh, growing up, man, that's the only thing that, that, that I listened to, like, for us in the 90s. I grew up in the 1990s, so a lot. Master P, I'm body, all that. Master P is, like, the reason why. I, I ain't going to say the reason why I got a brand. It's, he, he inspired me to do different things and just rap. But when you see Master P, like you were saying, he got the P. Miller rims. He got the, it was in the NBA. Uh, the shoes, clothes, now his son, you know, he got his son playing ball, basketball. He just, everything around P is a business. Cell phone shot, I got the hookup. Like, if you see Master P, he, that's what you call a true entrepreneur. And for somebody to hate off him, it's just the black man just trying to get it. At the end of the day, that's what we are, we just trying to get it. For somebody to hate off it's that's like disrespectful because he's just, he's like the GOAT, like he one of the greatest in the game ever. Yeah. He taught taught us the game to how to put the music distributed out and stuff and uh how to set the music by itself out the trunk and all that. Right, right. So shit, man. I always like to uh I'm a nigga who like to speak shit in existence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So who is somebody that cool just do you like wanna do a like who would you like to do a feature with or some uh Somebody that you don't even think, man, that should have never happened. Niggas think they it'll never happen. You know what I'm saying? Who would you like to see yourself working with? It could be a producer, mm -hmm. an artist, mm -hmm. uh, anybody. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But who? I just like to speak shit into existence, bro. Who would you like to work with, man? I mean, <laughs> tell you the truth, I work with any uh, hot producer. You know what I'm saying? It's like not um, not talking about no bull hockey or whatever. You know, just trying to get it to the bin. Before it's like. Um, Artist wise, uh, I like to work with like Missy Elliott, you know, uh, because I seen her at the um, Freak Meet, but she didn't perform anything. I just, uh, you know what I'm saying, touched bases with her backstage because she was, uh, she just, she just, she just came out. She wasn't on the show or anything. She was just showing love. And um, when I was thinking, like, dang, I want to do a song with her, but. She probably was so busy, I really didn't have time to um, talk about music. We were just, you know, backstage with the artists and watching the show. So, Miss Ellie just had to be my own um, pick a uh, person that I want to um, do something with. 
Damn, damn, that's a goddamn, that's a that's a curveball right there. Ain't, 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 ain't. <laughs> but nah, that's big though, cause she's yeah. one of the biggest in the game. Yeah, cause like, like she turned like when you look at her own videos, the 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 the, the charismatic, the the personality, the the, the character that she put with that music. Like she's one of the first female artists doing all that crazy stuff before Nicki Minaj and all these other uh, acts who put in like. Bringing their personality to life and putting it into the videos with the baggy pants flying in the air and stuff like that. I like that. That's 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 unique. Right. So if I can link up and collaborate with that, that'll that'll bring me and more broaden me up. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to ride a ride a wave or anything. Just really trying to work with other artists, big artists that's creative, and not just in that stagnated mind of being um, simple. You know, because she is. Talented and unique. I saw, like I said, I saw the free neat pulled up in the lamb truck. I'm like, who is that pulling up in that? A five hundred thousand dollar blue lamb truck. Then she got out, hopped out, uh, VIP, cause I was in VIP too, cause I was an artist on the show. I'm like, that's Miss Ellie. <laughs> I'm like, that, that that's the biggest showdown right here, Missy. You know, on the show. And um, that's what I think. You know what I'm saying? We'll make a good collab. So what what cool you do you see yourself in the next five years, man? Five years from now, um, like I said, right now I'm independent, got my own label, uh, own brand, and you know, uh, if if a label come with a with a uh, with a with a nice contract, I, I I like to sign with a label. But if not, you know, I just have to keep this independent game going, you know, and um, you know what I'm saying, just keep getting money. That's you know, the only thing we can do, keep getting money, keep this independent game going with the label, you know what I'm saying, talking about some good stuff and um, a good deal on the contracts and stuff like that. I wouldn't mind signing with a uh, with a label, with a big label. So how was working with uh with Project Pat, man? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How was work how was it? I say Project Pat I ain't gonna say he wanted the realest in the game, I say he is the realest in the game. Cause the, the the stuff we done did and uh, got together and put our heads together and did, man, I don't think another artist would have let me uh, go and put my foot in the game, big in the game, than than he let me do. Because without that push, I, I probably I probably wouldn't even be here right now talking about this. I probably be trying to do like lo local acts in the in the city and stuff like that. So right now my mind is on like you know the the big show. So. Without him talking to me and telling me different things, giving me key pointers that he didn't even have to do, like give me industry feedback. You know what I'm saying? Real feedback, not just saying because, like, because you know, because I know he he got a lot of people he work with, do business with, and stuff like that. But I know me and him got a a a, a, a bond that it's like a, like no other. You know, and uh, he really he, he, he the really ever. Uh, I say he the realest in the in the, in the music game for real, for real. Not even sugar coating us. I met a lot of artists, but um, I have to say he uh, about the realest. Hands on, he the realest. So you had the BET Hip Hop Awards, and they got the after party going on. This nigga cool as dude is in the bed and got down popping bottles, everything. Yeah. Peep game. You got all you got Rihanna in the bed. You got yeah. all these females in the bed. You know yeah. what I'm saying in the game. Who yeah. cool as dude you finna holler? Who cool is dudes you finna holler at that's in the game? You know what I'm saying? Who you finna put this bed in with? Who the female you gonna choose? Female. You feel? Let me see. I know who I'm gonna choose. Rihanna. You feel me? That's 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 who a little more fucking with. You feel me? With. Man, there's so many girls in the industry, man. I just can't wait to hit all of them, man. <laughs> Try to get all of them because, man, I just can't have you one. You better be suffering with the Me Too movement, man. <laughs> that nigga it's, so, it's so many. Nigga Minaj, yeah. Rihanna, Beyonce. It, it's it's just, no, don't give me, I ain't trying to talk about these people, girls and all that, but it's just, all of them got their different appearance and looks, so man, it, it just it, it attract me, you know what I'm saying, from these sexy, beautiful women. There's so many, I, I wouldn't even know. I'm just trying to talk to everybody, yeah. trying to wish for something if I can do it. I'm from Chat Town, you know, Tennessee, so <laughs> if I can, I might say something to make her say something to her and, and, and get both of them, you know what I'm saying? So I, I just can't do one, man, because the energy, man, just uh, the entertainment period, man, just full of just beautiful women. Just a lot of beautiful women, for real, for real. And I love that. 
You know what I'm saying? They gonna, they, uh, like right now, uh, I'm creeping up on them right now. So tell them to get ready. They, they, they get ready now. You know what I'm saying? So the older Kooja dude, if you can go back to yourself when you was uh, 10 years old, what would you tell yourself? What kind of advice would you give yourself? Man, when I was 10, man, I wasn't even thinking about music. You know, I was just trying to uh, stay alive and stay and stay in, in, in my in, on track in my mind and stay trying to be a, a better person. So, what would you give your what, what advice would you give yourself to give your age? You your age, it? um, don't stop. The advice. Cause that's that's how I always looked at it, not stopping, just to perseverance. You know what I'm saying? Just keep going. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, shit, man, I ain't gonna hold you up, man. Anything else you wanna uh, you wanna let the people know? You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I got some shoes that I've been um that I've been working on that uh people can pre-order right now. They can hit me up. I've been working with uh with Nike, uh, making different type of. Uh, Shoes, cool dudes, you like it. So if anybody want to um, pre-order yours, you can call me at 423-505-1070 or you can email me at coolyourdooji at gmail.com. That's C-O-O-G-I-D-O-O-G-I at gmail.com. And they busting. I didn't release no pictures of nothing. But if you can uh, uh, hit me up on PayPal, hit my PayPal, DM me, or uh, Walmart to Walmart. Uh, uh, the price you can um, call me, text me about the prices and stuff like that, and um, I can get you brand new, exclusive Kooja Dudes and Nikes. And I've been working with uh, uh, some new clothing, um, my new clothing line, Addy Boys. And um, y'all can call me uh, to purchase that. I know a lot of uh, celebrities have been talking about it and stuff like that. And, um, you can hit me up on every, any social media, Kooja Dudes, and uh. I follow back, you know what I'm saying? You want to talk business, you got my contact information. That's that on that, little more films. Peace. That's what's up, that's what's up. Little more motherfucking films, nigga.